the sister is also very shy she just doesn't want to come in front or ask it herself she says her question is about will of allah she says i keep hearing everything is the will of allah whatever happens is the will of allah and they say that everything is written already so then where is the freedom of choice when allah gave me freedom of choice whatever i do if anything happens they say oh this was written and it's the will of allah and if you could explain if there is so much everything is written down then what is my freedom of choice sister that's a very good question very important question that if everything is the will of allah then where is the freedom of choice and this is a question not only asked by non muslim even asked by muslims it's talking about qadar that if it is mentioned in destiny that i'm going to rob and if i rob who's to blame allah is to blame if it mentioned my destiny i'm going to commit murder and i commit murder who's to blame allah is to blame so where is the free will so if it is the will of allah or if it's mentioned in the destiny i'm joining both together then where is the free will the reply to this question is it's compulsory that every muslim should believe in qadar but you should understand what is the meaning of destiny for example if suppose in a classroom there are 100 students and when the teacher teaches the students in the classroom at the end of the year before the examination the teacher predicts that this student he will come out first class first this student he will get second class this student he will fail the teacher predicts why he knows that this student is very studious always does homework does extra studies this average student second class that student goes for movies doesn't do homework misses the class predicts that that student will fail now once the examination takes place after the results come out this student gets first class first this student gets second class that student fails i am asking you a question can the student who has failed can he blame the teacher that because we have predicted i will fail i have failed who's to blame the student or the teacher who's to blame the student or the teacher the student the teacher predicted who's to blame the student he did not study he did not do his homework he used to go for extra movies so similarly allah subhanahu wa taala has given the human being the free will allah has told you what is right what is wrong but the choice is yours for example if you come at a cross road there are four roads a b c d you can choose any you choose road c so allah knows in advance that when you come at cross road you will choose road c so allah writes when the person comes at the cross road he will choose road c so it is not because allah is writing that you are choosing because you will be choosing allah is writing it is not because allah is writing that you are choosing road c it is because you will be choosing road c allah has ilm e ghaib he has knowledge of the future he writes in advance now after you choose road c you come at another cross road five roads 1 2 3 4 5 like after you pass the 12th standard you can become engineer you can become doctor you can become businessman you choose to become a businessman choice is yours but allah knows in advance that after you pass standard 12th you will choose to become a businessman it is not because allah is writing that you are becoming a businessman because you wanted to become a businessman allah is writing in advance and what you understand here that if allah wants he can easily change it for example if in a classroom in the mathematics examination the teacher gives the paper 2 plus 2 is equal to how much now why she is supervising the student writes 2 plus 2 is equal to 5 the teacher will not correct the teacher can correct but if the teacher corrects you will say the teacher is unjust if teacher say don't write 5 write 4 all the other student will this is examination why are you interfering so if allah wants he can change but because he has given you free will he is letting you take your decision so this life is a test for the year after as allah says in surah mulk chapter 6 and verse number 2 allazi khalaqal mauta wal hayata it's allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good in deeds so this life is a test for the year after allah has given you and shown you the rules what is good what is bad then he's given you a free will it is your choice Allah does not interfere in your free will he can if he wants the quran says not even a leaf can fall without the permission of allah so whatever happens happens with allah's free will 
but the decision is yours. And based on that, you will be rewarded or punished. Hope that answers the question.